Hello, my name is Kyle Bradshaw, and today I'm going to be showing you the detailed breakdown of this Ocelot AF1 Fresh Air Full Face Helmet. This is going to be the perfect option for those of you guys who ride out there in dusty conditions. You can choose to purchase this optional pump that's available as an accessory that plugs onto the helmet like this and pumps fresh air directly into the helmet. Now that is an add-on accessory. If you already have a vehicle that's equipped with a fresh air system like a PCI race ready system, that hose simply plugs onto this helmet and is going to pressurize the inside of the helmet, making it so that dirt and dust doesn't come inside. It's going to be a huge benefit for those of you who ride in dusty conditions. Now this helmet has lots of external features that we're going to take a look at now, and then we're going to take this helmet off of the mannequin and do a deep dive onto the insides so you can see just exactly what you're getting. Now on the outside, you have the pumper inlet here. That's going to allow you to run the fan that I already showed you or an existing pumper system directly onto the helmet itself. We have a polycarbonate visor here that is fog free. The helmet shell itself is going to be a lightweight polymer, which is going to be great. It's going to be protective and lightweight. Those are two things that we really like. Now, the front vent does not open and close. It's actually sealed. That way you can have that positive pressure on the inside of the helmet. You're really not going to want dirty air coming in through that vent anyway. Moving around to the back, you're going to notice these exhaust vents. That's going to allow that pressurized air in the helmet to flow out and recirculate so you always have a great feeling air inside the helmet. Now, in the event that you want to take the shield off to clean it or to swap it out for a tinted shield, it's a very simple operation. We have two thumb screws, one on each side of the helmet. You're simply going to unscrew the screws. And the visor will be removable. Again, this is a great option if you're looking to take the shield off to clean it or if you're adding a tinted visor to your helmet. The next thing we're going to look at is this removable dust skirt here at the bottom of the helmet. This is going to drape over your shoulders, down your back, and down your front, eliminating any of that dirty air from getting up underneath your helmet. This is a great feature that allows this helmet to function much better than some of the others out there in the marketplace. Now this here is a DOT rated helmet. The visor comes up really easily. There are a couple detents. In the, in the way there, so if you want to prop the visor open, talk to somebody, and then close it back down again, this has a very positive latch at the bottom and a nice open detent here at the very top. Now, if for whatever reason you wanted to remove the dust skirt, that is done very easily. It is a Velcro and snap type setup. Now with the dust skirt removed, we can take a look at what the inside of this helmet looks like. We have a fully removable comfort liner, both the cheek pads and the headliner itself. So the headliner is going to get removed by simply snap, unsnapping two snaps here in the back and then working our way to the very front of the helmet right here. We're going to come up here and gently pull out of these tabs right here. This here is going to be the comfort liner. It is available in a couple different sizes. So if you're looking for that perfect fit, we have options for you. Now moving down, we're going to go ahead and unsnap and unvelcro. This guy and pull the two tabs out. One tab, two tab. We've got a snap here on the back and a velcro. And the same thing is going to happen on the other side. Now on the inside of the helmet, you can see we have that dual layer EPS foam on the inside. Now because this is a positive flow helmet, we're really not going to have any exhaust vents or intake vents here on the top. All of that is going to happen from this guy right here, this air inlet. Now this is a very basic helmet interior. Like I said, it has dual layer EPS. Now the main reason that you would snap out your comfort liner is to clean it. This liner is hand washable or machine washable and it is easily removed as we have just demonstrated. Now let's get this helmet put back together so we can finish the presentation. Now that we have the helmet reassembled, I'm going to go ahead and put this helmet on and show you exactly what it looks like on and how it functions. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how the air pump hose or the actual air pump will install. It simply slips over that inlet tube. 
Now this is an additional accessory, it does not come with the helmet itself, but it does plug into a 12 volt source, allowing you to have fresh air being pumped into the helmet. Putting the helmet on, I can tell you that it does fit well with glasses. The visor has a nice positive closure and it has a nice lock into the upper position right here. Now the fresh air that's gonna come in from this inlet right here is gonna come directly to the breath box of the helmet. So real quick, I'm gonna plug in my coaxial cable. And this is the sound that you're gonna hear inside the helmet while that fan is running. Right now, I'm feeling a nice pressure on the inside of the helmet. I have fresh air that's being put right here in front of my mouth and in front of my nose. So breathing that fresh air feels really good. There's just a little bit of a positive pressure inside this helmet that is going to keep all air and dust from the outside from coming into the helmet. Now while standing here in the studio, you can definitely hear this fan running. It's not annoying, it's not obnoxious, but it's definitely there. Now if you're out in a vehicle with the motor running and jostling through the desert or the woods or wherever you're at, you're definitely not gonna be paying attention to the buzz of that motor. But the fact that we can have this conversation right now with that fan running does let you know how quiet and how smooth that fan does run. Now if your vehicle is already equipped with air, you simply plug the hose into that same inlet and you're dialed. And there you have it. Those are the finer details of the Ocelot AF1 Fresh Air Full Face Helmet. If you're looking to get fresh air into your helmet, this is a very inexpensive way to do it. I'm Carl Bradshaw. Thank you for watching. Till next time, take care and ride safe out there.